Hey guys, Trev here, World Campfire Initiative, 17 Oatway Street, the Safety Orange House. And uh, since I'm out riding around in town, and I noticed this quite a while ago, but uh, uh, I thought I'd stop and point it out. Look at this uh, this banner on a public, right, on a public fence, right on a major street here. So now the reason I'm pointing that out is because I had a 14-foot banner on my front lawn, which is also a residential area, and I had it on my front lawn, and the city of Spruce Grove, it was came and, and, and seized it. Well, that's what they said. They stole it. Steve Chip Chase and his goons came down and stole the sign. Well, my question is, my son was about light and love, and because the city of Spruce Grove is so evil, they're so, they hate the homeless so much, and the Freemasons and the old money that runs this town, they couldn't wait to get my sign down. So here's, here's the question. Why the fuck does this sign get to stay up here? And I don't really care to take it down. I'd rather have it say to stay, but I just wanted to point out that the city of Spruce Grove has got their heads so fucking far up their asses and they're so full of mixed messages. I can't believe it. Give your heads a shake, you guys. And I want that sign back. It was a $700 sign and I'm a single dad of two kids, right? And all I do is spend my money trying to help homeless and everybody else. And you fucking assholes come down to my house and take my sign. Kiss my ass, Steve Chip Chase. And I'll light and love to you and everybody else. I'm just getting a little bit worked up here. But yeah, honestly, how come this gets to stay here, right? And many more things I'll be pointing out about the city because they're trying to persecute the shit out of me and they're a bunch of assholes. Bless.